like so. Oh, I've got some marigolds right here. All you need to do is see this little tip? You're gonna pluck it from that point. You got some nice marigolds. I'm gonna show you how to do a bigger one. Uh, here's another one that's yellow. Again, very simple. Let me see if I can find a bigger one. Let's see. Here we go. We had much bigger ones before but I think since it's the second round they're mainly just smaller so if you want you can cut the stem and the leaf like so but you don't have to got this what else let's see you got a nice big one down here and over here Fairly simple, and that's how we harvested our marigolds. You can use different colors to thread your marigolds. For example, if you wanted to use green because your stems are green, like so, you can use one of your greens that comes in your kit. If you want to use orange because you're only using the petals and not the green stems, you can use one of the oranges. You can really personalize your marigold garland using different, different colors of your choice. And if you have a different color of marigolds, you can use the same color as it to blend in with it and, and not see the string. Or you can just use white if you want to. For example, here we just use some white, which you can see over here. No, it's just pale. It's more like a cream, so more like this color. But you can use whites and blacks. Or, for example, I've seen some hybrid ones that are pink, so you can use pink. Or if you want blue, you can use blue. So, again, there's a lot of different colors you can use to personalize your garland. And you can decorate them with any pearls, but they have to be attached to a pin. Hi, and this is how you can do an easy way to make a garland with marigolds. And you can see more marigolds behind me. First... Take two or four marigolds, like this. And my mom told me to put them crisscross, like one on that side, then this side, then that side. Take your two marigolds and put one on this side. But make sure the end where you are, make sure to see. So which side you have to start with? It's starting here. So I should put the other one starting like that and then that. So I put it, I take the marigolds, take my needle, and stick it through both of them. Don't be scared to stick it. If you're too little, just ask a parent to help you. Then push it all the way down. See? Now I have a perfect cross. Here are some of the garlands we've already made. You can use these for many different things. Decorating your house, some doors, um, putting in your hair, decorating uh, possibly a smaller house like a dollhouse or a cave for your pet. You can do a lot of stuff with this. If you want to do a puja with it, you can do a puja with it. And yeah. You okay. can also use it for other holidays. These, this is the one I'm still working on. As the other video said, you should to take two crisscross ones, but you can also take five or four as well. For little kids, they should start with two.
Yes. Let me show you what we did with ours. So for me, we simply just took my braid and we looped around our uh, one of the garlands we made, like so. As you can see, we did use the crisscross pattern Ali was talking about in the original How to Make Your Marigold Garland video. Here for Alia, if you can turn your head please, we looped it around her, the origin of her ponytail and then did two swings around the ponytail and we did a bunch at the end of it so it looks like it was just covered in marigold garlands. Anyways, that's how and what we did with our marigold gar garlands. Hopefully you'll come up with some cool new ideas with what to do with yours. Hi, Ninja. Hi. Alia Squirrel. Alia Squirrel. So what I did is I took the marigolds and instead of doing a crisscross pattern like so, I threaded them in all the same direction. Every once in a while, yes, they will flip over like so, but um, that is completely fine. Because our rabbit is a little picky on keeping stuff around his ears, we decided to keep it around his neck. Um, like a, like a lu, I believe that's what they call in Hawaii, uh, the neck garlands that they make are called loose so we try to do it like that and then you can also do that for their paws and you can do for dogs cats bunnies for hamsters and smaller and gerbils like smaller animals that are pets it'll be a little harder and uh stuff like snakes they might not enjoy that so much so again be careful uh don't force your pets to do this we just did it because our bunny wanted to eat some of the marigolds and he really enjoyed them so yeah Anyways, this is Ginger, and everyone here in this video says thank you for watching it. Bye! Bye! Bye!